Hey, Mark Rice here, and if you ever wanted to make your own game, and you need to animate a character for it, something simple, nice, and without plugins, then I have something for you. You will see, the tutorial is so easy, and it means that it's time to launch your new character. Ok, so here as you can see I have all that I need. This is the character and this is the layers. So maybe you don't know how to import these layers. In that case you can find the link of the other tutorial in the video description. So don't worry about that. As you can see I changed the color for the layers because it's easy for me to recognize which is the layer for the part I'm working right now. First I will apparent the shape. But before that we can change the anchor point for some parts of the character. You can do that after parenting, but for me it's easier to do right now. So first select the pen behind tool and I will change the anchor point for this part here. So hold control or shift and move it here. Ok, then select the second part of the hair, control shift and move it here. Ok. And here behind this main part of the hair I have this part. So I will change anchor point for this part as well. Ok, beautiful. And I will change anchor point for these parts as well. So select fire this small yellow circle. Ok, change anchor point here. And for this big yellow circle change anchor point here. And that's it, now we are ready to parent our shapes. So first I will select the hair layers together with the glass and parent these layers with the head. Ok, I will parent the head with the body. And the body I will parent with the skateboard. So this will be our main layer here. The legs I will parent with the body left hand and uh, right hand with the body as well the back part of the hand back I'll parent with the body and these fires here I'll parent with the skateboard ok but as you can see here this part and this part are outlines I want to convert these shapes into vector files so go here and use create shapes from vector layers. Then delete the old ones. And that's it. Now I can change the size for these shapes as I want. Ok. And now when I select the skateboard layer, everything is connected. Ok, beautiful. So first I will create the position keyframes for the skateboard. So hit P on the keyboard and create the first keyframe on the first frame. Then here in the middle I will move the skateboard up and for the last keyframe I will copy the first one. Select the keyframes F9 and ok, beautiful. Then I will play with the legs. So select the legs, create the first keyframe and here in the middle I will down the legs. Something like this. Ok, copy the first keyframe on the last frame. Ok, cool. Now I will change the position of the head. So hit P on the keyboard. Here in the middle I will down the head. Something like this. Ok, copy the first keyframe. F9, let me check. So I need to change something because the head is stuck in the place. Ok, beautiful. Now I will play with the body. So select the body layer, hit P on the keyboard. Ok, so now I will create the balance with the arms, or hands in this case. So first parent the right hand with the left hand. And in this case I can animate just the left hand. 
B on the keyboard. F9. Okay, I like it. Now glasses, I can play with that as well. So hit P on the keyboard. Here I will down it a bit and copy the first keyframe. So it's a very small movement, but in that way you can achieve better dynamic in the animation. And now my favorite part, the hair. Okay, so I will select the hair one and the hair two part, these parts here. Click R for the rotation settings on the first frame and create the keyframes. Here I'll try with 30. No, minus 30. Okay, in the middle of the animation will be 30. And for the end of the animation, I will use minus 30 as well. Okay, F9, let me check. I love it. Then select this part here, the second part. Hold Alt, click the stopwatch icon and here type loop out ping pong. Yeah. Okay, and now I can move this layer. Let me check now. Look at this. This beautiful part. And now I will animate this part in the background. So hit R on the keyboard. Here will be minus 45. Okay. F9. Okay, cool. And finally, this fire here. So first I will select the small yellow circle, hit S on the keyboard for the scale or size. So the first keyframe will be 100. And the second in the middle of the animation will be 150. And I will copy the first keyframe for the last one. Control C, Control V. F9. Okay, and I will do that with the big yellow circle. Scale 150. Okay, copy the first keyframe, F9. And here for this part, for this layer, I will copy this loop out code. It means that I will move this layer a bit. Okay, now fire. So select the bright yellow part. Okay, go into the layer. Then add button and here pick up trim pad. Then go into the trim pad and create the keyframes for the start and the end. Okay, then go on the last frame and here start will be 100 and end will be 0. F9. Okay, beautiful. And I will do the same with this darker yellow color. So go into the layer, add trim path, and create the keyframes for the start and the end. So here the start will be 0 and the end will be 0 as well. And in the middle of the animation, I will create keyframes as well. But here the start will be 100. And the end will be 50. And for the end, I will create the keyframes. The start will be 100. And the end will be 100 as well. Hmm, I like it. 
Okay, you can speed up this fire, but basically that's it. It's very helpful and as you can see, it's very easy to create. So do something with that and create something beautiful for your game. Okay, that's it for today and if you like the video, be sure to subscribe because soon I will publish more animation tutorials. And if you want to use all my illustrations for your projects, including this illustration from this tutorial, check out gigantic.store or the link down below. And if you visit my Patreon page, you can watch even more animation tutorials from me. So that's it for today. I hope that you like it. In any case, stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.